Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Jan Wokhin and today I'm going to talk with you about investment. But not about basic investments such as stock market or real estate. I'm going to talk with you about car market. And at first I would like to introduce you to my friend John, who is a senior at high school. And he just got his driving license, so his parents bought him his first car. Year 2000 Toyota Celica. That's a really nice, reliable Japanese sports school. But, let's be honest, it's too boring for a teenager. So, after seeing a movie with his friends called Fast and Furious, he decided to do a research and find himself a seat body kit for his car. And after months of work and patience and a lot of money for him, he built himself his dream car. This is John's Toyota Celica. So, he thought that he, because he invested a lot of money into this car, he gonna sell it for a lot more. So, total amount of money that he invested was three and a half thousand dollars, but he expected a lot more. So he sold it for fifteen hundred dollars, which is a total failure. So, this was a terrible example of investing into a car market. Because a lot of people think that if they're gonna invest a lot of money into their car, they're gonna sell it for a lot more. But, in reality, that's not true. What other people could do, they could invest into cars such as McLaren MSO HS, one of only 25 in the world. Ferrari Monza SP2, one of only 499 in the world. Or even Lamborghini Veneno Roadster, one of only 9 in the world. Now I would like to introduce you a car, which is a legend in, in the car market, which is called Ferrari La Ferrari. All car people know this car because its value is very high. And at first I did a research, I found all prices of these cars on the market, and I made a table which shows you all mileages, all colors, the average color, the rim color, etc. So the final price in 2019 was 3.3 million dollars. But in 2013, the car new was 1.7 million, which is almost twice less than it costs now. So, you might ask me, what if I have $2 million and I can just go to Ferrari and purchase myself this car and sell it in six years for double the price? Well, you cannot do that because it's hard. You have to be a VIP member of Ferrari. And now I'm gonna tell you how to become a VIP member. So first of all, you have to have certain cars in your collection, which I'm going to talk about later. Second, you need good relationship and background in your career. You cannot tune your cars or you cannot do anything bad with them. Also, you need a lot of time, a lot of patience of, and of course money. Also, you need a good taste. Your car should be spec very nice and neat. And the most important thing is luck. Without it, you're not going to achieve anything. So, first of all, car collection. Because I'm talking about Ferrari, I'm going to tell you what cars you should buy right now to become a VAT car member. Ferrari 488 Pista. The fastest car in Ferrari lineup right now. The production cars. 711 horsepower. All cars should be in tailor-made spec, which is a program that Ferrari allows you to be in to have your car specced individually. Every single part in this car is going to be made for you in any color or any other material. Second car should be Ferrari 812 Superfast. This is the most powerful production Ferrari right now, not limited edition, 788 horsepower. This car is exactly in tailor-made spec, as you can see it has a stripe across the hood. Uh, and as well it has a circle around the door because it pays a heritage to cars 70 years ago. Third car is going to be Ferrari Portofino. It's a convertible car, one of the cheapest Ferrari, in fact we can say that. Um, but it's really nice and it's very comfortable for daily driving. The last new car is going to be Ferrari GTC4 Lusso, which is a tour that you can purchase to go to Alps, to ski, to go snowboarding, etc. And as 
well as these cars you need something that is not being produced anymore, such as Ferrari F430 Scuderia. That's a race car based, uh, made for production line for public roads, so it's very fast and powerful for roads. Uh, the most important thing in all of that is relationship. If, you, if your car is going to be like from the line that I named, but your behavior in this industry is going to be disrespectful for a company, they're just going to cross you out from a Ferrari VIP customer list. For example, you cannot tune your car. This is a, actually a really nice Ferrari, but that is tuned by a Japanese company called Liberty Walk. You can see the fenders around the wheels, the spoiler, the livery of the car. If you're gonna do anything like that with your car, such as Ferrari, company just gonna cross you out from the VIP member list. Also this example. <laughs> this is a Ferrari of a DJ Deadmau5. He painted it into a neon cat color, and then Ferrari crossed him out from his member list and he couldn't attend any events or buy a new car from Ferrari. As well as relationship, you should attend all of the events that Ferrari provides, such as racetrack days, as this one, or Ferrari driving school, or sometimes, or sometimes car unveilings. All of these, um, all of these points are going to bring you to success in becoming a VIP member of Ferrari. But Ferrari is not the only company that provides you such an opportunity. For example, McLaren just unveiled their McLaren Siena. It's a, a legendary car because it's a successor of McLaren F1, one of the most legendary cars ever produced in the world. Or Porsche with their 935. Lamborghini with their Chien, based on the Ventador, but still, it's a limited car. Or even Bugatti Centatieci, a very beautiful and expensive car. Six million dollars for this one. In the end, I would like to say that if you have any kind of hobby, for example, mine is passion to cars, I love them, they're like one of the most important things in my life, I would say. You could connect it with investment. If you have any hobby, it goes with investment very well. So my only advice is going to be for you that you should look around and try to invest into your hobby. Thank you very much for your attention.